hi, I'm Eshkelar, and I want to do a little thunk experiment with you today. I'm coming around because I have to get in front of the camera so you know I'm wearing pants. I mean, really, if you want credibility in the world, you have to be seen wearing pants. Now, unless you're a, a Scotsman, then you're welcome to wear a kilt if you like a lot. But so here's a story. See this? This is yeah, flavorings you can buy at any store. Vanilla is one of those flavorings. Cherry is one of those flavorings. This is lemon, but they're all about the same. And I'm going to tell a story about them. Back in the Stone Age, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the beginning of the 80s, there was a place in Aspenwall that all us oldsters know, Furman's Drugstore. Anybody remember Furman's? Oh, yeah, right there on Commercial Avenue on the right-hand side where it's now, uh, what, beside Luke and Mike's front porch or whatever it is. Um, and Furman's was uh, an apothecary, but he was also a soda phone. You know, the old stuff, soda phone. <laughs> that stuff, make a root beer float. And the big thing in those days was cherry Coke. And I'm not kidding. Ask any of the oldsters, did you ever have a cherry Coke from Furman's? Of course you did. We all did. And some of us would line up to get them. We get allowance, we earn a little money, or we you know, had a paper route. You'd go to Furman's to get that cherry Coke. And you'd see outside of Furman's, there'd be kids, you know, like rolling around, and they'd be scuffling, and they'd be, you know, throwing pennies and doing crazy stuff. And the kids are generally known for doing crazy stuff. You know this. Well... I was very fond of the vanilla milkshake. Still am. But the thing about it is, man, I'd get one of those vanilla milkshakes and I felt good. It literally felt good. How can you feel good having a milkshake? I mean, literally feel good. Is it the sugar? I mean, I was eating a lot of cereal. So, it may not have been the sugar. You know, sugar frosted flakes is all called frosted flakes because they took out the sugar because everybody knows it's bad for you, but they still have it. So anyway, all them kids having all that fun and scuffling and yelling and swearing and, you know, lining up to go to Furman's. So Mr. Furman, he'd throw the ice cream in the, in the metal cup. You know, he'd throw the ice cream in the metal cup. And then he'd go over in front of that vanilla and he'd go like this, right? And then he like put it under the little stirring stick. Then he give you that milkshake. You drink that down. There was nothing better. Holy mackerel, was that good? There was never anything so good as that milkshake or that cherry coke from Furman's. Never. So, let's take a little look into that story. Well, he'd use inside those big squirtsers there that he would put for flavorings into whatever he was doing, and he'd give you generous portions too. For regular flavorings off the shelf. They buy them in bulk, of course, because who's going to buy that much vanilla? But, I mean, you know, it's single bottles for four ninety eight. But at any rate, so when he was going bushed, 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 he was putting about a jigger of flavoring into that Coke, into that milkshake. About a jigger. Why am I using that phrase? Why am I using that measurement? Because it's a way that you measure booze. Let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see this. 83% alcohol. Why? That's 166 proof. And he was going, goosh, 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 a jigger. 166 proof booze, and that's enough to get any kid drunk. And that's how they get you started. So when I like try to point out the dirty tricks of business, that they try, I yell and I scream and I rant and I rave. They're addicting us and blah, blah, blah. And some drugs are legal, some drugs aren't. They should all be there, there. You know, old man ranting. Yeah. They started us early. I was six years old when I had my first milkshake. Six years old. Goosh, 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 goosh. Where do you think alcoholism comes from? Where do you think drug addiction comes from? It comes from your frickin' corner store pushed by the people that you trust. Bear heroin for choosing others. Yeah, okay. I just thought that was worth pointing out that we didn't get a drug problem. It was given to us, and we're the ones being penalized for it. Stop the companies from making the crap that addicts us, and there'd be a lot less drug addiction. Does that not make sense? Eliminate the role models?
you got to learn about it from an 800, well, 1200 now, 1200 year old wizard. Holy mackerel. You guys got some studying to do. This is Eshkelar signing orcs. I think you do that with the left hand doing this and the right hand doing that. What do I do with this other hand? Hey, where did I get another hand from? 